Ladies and gentlemen, in this video, I'm going to explain to you what is the tactic that numerous applicants for the Small Business Administration Economic Injury Disaster Loan are using to have the SBA issue their EIDL grants within one to three days time. First off, just bear with me while I go ahead and put this entire story into context. For many of you who have been watching my videos for quite some time, you know that I was probably the first person on YouTube to tell you that you can have the SBA quote white glove your application or perhaps streamline it if you had your congressional representative file an inquiry with the SBA in regards to your application for the economic injury disaster loan. So I decided to use this tactic today. And I also told you that you should have your congressional representative use an email that I will provide at the end of this video. Just watch it to the end. And you have, this is for government use only, by the way, you have your congressional representative contact the SBA using this email. I was probably the first person to tell you that. And I decided to use that tactic today. So I called my congressional representatives, Senator Kirsten Gillibrand from New York State, Senator Chuck Schumer, and Congressman Hakeem Jeffries represents my district. All the calls went straight to voicemail. Couldn't get in touch with anybody. And I just realized we are in July 4th recess for Congress. They're in recess. They're on a seesaw somewhere. Incredible. These people are on recess while you, the American people, small business owners, consumers, people, mothers, fathers, single parents, children, are in need of immediate assistance. Why? Because, first off, I am a small business owner here in Queens, New York City. And we've had to issue crazy discounts. We've had to do a number of pro bono projects. We've helped thousands of people with internet marketing courses that we used to charge for. Previously, we are giving them away for free. And We've exhausted our funds, so I decided to call my congressional representatives to request more funds for economic injury disaster loan. I went ahead and sent an email to the SBA. They haven't gotten back to me as yet, and it all goes straight to email. I even try to contact the Small Business Administration, and you get the option to speak to someone in regards to financial assistance if I was impacted due to the pandemic, and I was definitely impacted. Just to give you... Some more context. Queens, New York City. I call it the epicenter of the epicenter. You know that New York City was probably the hardest hit city in the entire country. Queens was the hardest hit borough in New York City. 63,000 cases around, 6,000 deaths just in this area right now. Just in Queens. I got sick. My wife got sick after the maintenance guy had the virus and... He was hospitalized for 11 days on a ventilator. Thank God he came out safely. My cousin got sick. He's a first responder. He's been out of work for about three months now. He had pneumonia after it. He had a hard time breathing. One of his coworkers actually died at the age of 46. So it hit us particularly hard in this area. We're just starting to get started. Everything is trying to get reopened right now. And in New York State, the reopening process has been a lot longer than everywhere else, rightfully so. I mean, as a matter of fact, a pilot that flew from John F. Kennedy Airport, John F. Kennedy's actually, John F. Kennedy International Airport is actually 10 minutes away from where I live. Next time you come visit me, you could actually skydive into my backyard if you want to. A pilot flew from JFK over to LAX, and he was infected with the virus. And he infected people who were in contact with him when he went to the hospital, and it spread throughout all Los Angeles, according to a recent news report. The highest number of TSA employees infected with the virus worked right here in JFK. We channeled the virus into the country through JFK International Airport, ladies and gentlemen. And these people are on recess. It's incredible. It's incredible. Is this America? Okay. So... There's a bright side to the story that 
they do leave their email addresses on the websites. So as of right now, you can go ahead and contact them through their email addresses or through the websites. They may have a form. Your congressional representatives may have a form on their website through which you can contact them via email and have them use the following email address, F-O-C-W, Congressional Inquiries at SBA.gov. You do not contact the SBA through this email address. It's for government use only. So government officials can exchange correspondence. Again, it is F-O-C-W, Congressional Inquiries at SBA.gov. Let me know what you think. Drop your comments in the comment section below. Watch this video right here for more stimulus coverage. Click the like button if you like the video. Click the subscribe button to stay on top of my findings. I will do my best to report what other people will not. May God bless you. May God bless the United States of America and everybody else on this planet. Talk soon.